Welcome, everybody, to the latest edition of Pinfalls. I, of course, am John of johnsbeat.com and the Everyday Fan. And joining me, as always, wrestling acumen master. Who else but Tommy else? Well, I appreciate the intro. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about well, all that. Over the last year and a month, you are beating me. So right now, you're the master. Well, there's no doubt about that, regardless well, no, of I, numbers. It's, it's facts. It's a numbers thing. But, I mean, if we're talking overall, yeah. don't right. believe. All right. Well, here we are. It's Elimination Chamber. We are on the road to WrestleMania. This is the final stop on the road to WrestleMania, as far as I know. Uh, and uh, It is indeed, yes. Yeah. So, um, big implications here. Title opportunities. Uh, title matches. So, John, why don't you... Uh, let's, let's just... And I'm going to tell you what the, the way I'm going to do it. It's just because that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it, to, bar- to borrow a line from Casey and the Sunshine Band. We're going to start off with the Lashley versus Lesnar. Uh, Lashley versus Lesnar. Um, man, you know, I, 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 uh, they're not saving this for mania and there's no major stipulation on this. So it's a tough one to call because I feel like they, if, if, if this thing is going to continue, because this is the rubber match, supposedly. So one would imagine that it would be done here. If that's the case, then I guess I'm gonna. Uh, ah, man, it's it's tough, but I mean, I, I I'm thinking maybe Bobby Lashley, to be honest with you. Um, and I just feel like it's sort of like Bobby needs the passing of the torch, sort of. You know what I mean? He needs uh, he needs it more than than Lesnar does, even though, I mean, because even when Lesnar has lost in the past, it's he they've it's been in like very dramatic fashion. Like they've had to like bury him in desks and <laughs> things like that. You know, he came out with a tractor and flipped the ring over and stuff. So I mean, their their battles have been epic, um, and. Uh, I just don't see Lashley like if Lashley loses to Lesnar, I don't see him just like what then? Like where does he go from there? Whereas you know Le- Lesnar can just go back to the farm or whatever the hell he's going to do, you know? Go back to arena. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to go with Lashley on this one. Agreed, of course. Um, <laughs> you know, why not? Uh, no, I. Uh, Lesnar doesn't get much out of winning this one. He's won the last few battles with with Lashley. If Lashley loses, you're right. Where does he go? Lashley's more of a full timer than Lesnar. Uh, I think Le- Lashley needs this. Now there probably will be some chicanery involved because that's just how it is, and that might uh, take a little of the heat off of uh, or a little of the stench off of uh, uh, Lesnar for losing. But I don't think it matters either way with Lesnar. I don't think the loss would, is going to do one bit for him. He'll disappear for a while, and then he'll come back strong, like always. So, so I'll I'll add one more thing to bolster my argument. Um, you know, Lashley's really been going back and forth on the heel face thing. You know, you know because he was pretty much a face until Lesnar came back and started you know harassing him, and then now all of a sudden he's being you know the real pompous, arrogant you know Bobby Lashley. So okay, fine, you're a heel now i've noticed the last two weeks on raw in the background they'd be doing like a uh promo with you know like baron corbin or something like that but if you look down the hallway behind them almost in the shadows you see mvp cedric alexander and shelton benjamin all talking to each other so the chance of the hurt business getting involved in this match, I think, is relatively high. And they've never mentioned it. It's been something that's just been in the background and nobody's acknowledged it or said anything about it. But I saw it the last couple of weeks. So to me, that's going to be a big part of it. I think hurt business gets involved. 
that would be nice and subtle, you know, instead of because usually the way they do in wrestling is they pound it to you, so it's like it's so blatant that it's going to happen. No, I appreciate the fact cool. that I appreciate the fact that they have been just like real subtly had them in the background talking and stuff like that, and it was like you know unless you were looking, you wouldn't even know. But I just happened to pick up on that the last couple of weeks, so, right, so I think I think we're looking at a hurt business reunion and uh, Lashley win. So we both agree on that. Okay, so the next match I have is the rated R superstar Edge teaming with his wife, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix, versus Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor. Yeah. And you know that Dominic's going to be hanging around. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, I, it's an exciting match. I'll say that. I think that, uh, I mean, Beth Phoenix is just an absolute beast right now. I mean, she just looks incredible. I mean, she's always looked solid, but, man, she just – is just a, just an enormous right now, like in the best way. Uh, Edge is not looking bad himself either. I mean, or yeah, guy, for how old he is. No. Yeah, that guy is shredded. So, um, and then you got the uh, Balor and Ripley, man. I mean, like I like this match a lot. Now, who's gonna win? Uh, I I I feel like that we're gonna see a Judgment Day win on this i think that this is going to build to something bigger at mania whether it's edge and balor or or whatever or if they do a mixed tag thing there or something like that or i don't know what but i feel like it's they're not gonna they're not gonna take care of this business at the elimination chamber I think it'll be a great match and somehow Beth and Edge will get screwed again so that when they get their retribution at Mania, it will be that much sweeter. So, Well, here's a shock. I agree completely, and your reasoning is exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I, I was thought about it, I thought, you know, maybe they'll do, uh, maybe they'll do uh, individual singles matches, which is redundant. Maybe they'll do singles matches <laughs> at WrestleMania. But then I thought, well, that's kind of pointless. Usually it goes the other way around where they do singles, then they tag up. So, right. but I, I, I like your idea of maybe a blow off big tag match, maybe a hell in a cell, maybe an I quit tag match, something goofy. There's got to be a stipulation. Maybe Dominic gets barred from ringside. Um, but right. that, that's yeah. correct. No, I mean, this is a big enough, this is a big enough thing that like they, they need this storyline going on at WrestleMania in one. Right in one capacity or another. So, um, and it's easier. You, you want to, you want to have a very frustrated and angry edge and Beth Phoenix, you know, so that they're just really, you know, fired up for this and their win then is just that much more solid and, uh, it'll be a big pop for the night and whatever, you know, combination or format they decide to do it and i'm certain it'll be you know with the people involved there's no way it won't be a great match and like i said this tag match will be awesome so well we're two for two my friend let's try for the, the third let's go for the undisputed universal title roman reigns Sami Zayn. okay roman reigns, obviously it's the champ here it is this is my this is what i think is going to happen Sami Zayn is going to win the match, but he's not going to win the title. There's no stipulations on this match, so this is standard rules. Roman can easily get disqualified, lose the match, but keep the title. I think that's what's going to happen somehow, and this is going to lead into a triple threat main event at WrestleMania between Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and Roman Reigns. Because then whoever it whoever wins that, whether it be Cody or Zayn, Reigns loses the title to two men instead of being beaten by just one. So that saves him a little bit of face if he's dropping the title. That's my that's my trajectory. That's my my vision for where this is going to go. So you're going Sammy as the winner. Sammy is the winner. 
but not retaining the titles, not re- not getting the no, titles. No, but it's still you're you're picking. But yeah, 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 yeah. He gets the the check will be in the win column for Sami Zayn. Yeah. Well, yay, because now we have one different. I am okay. going Roman. Yeah. Um, although I do like your angle of of uh, Sammy winning winning and and not getting the title, but I don't think it's going to be a three way at WrestleMania. There are two nights at WrestleMania. There might be two matches, one on each night. I don't think you do a three way because. Um, I don't think Roman, because that, that takes away from Cody. Theoretically, Cody's going to win it at, at Mania. If he wins it with or because of Sami Zayn, it takes a little shine off of him. Roman doesn't need to be protected. He's held the title for a million days, you know? So, okay, he finally lost. Move on. So yeah. I, don't, I don't like the three, the three-way the idea that you have. I think it might be a, a, a two-night thing, maybe Roman versus Sami the first night. Or maybe Sammy goes uh, with. Um, well, that's a possibility. That's title. a possibility too. But then I, I, I mean, like I wouldn't rule that possibility out either. But I just think, I, you know, yeah, it could be a three way, or yeah, over the do it, you know, one each over the two nights, um, and then even then, Reigns can say, well, I had to wrestle two main events, you know. Sure. So. But Cody still beats him straight up. Right. No, you're right. It would take the shine off of Cody winning if Cody uh, was the one who got it. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, as far as the chamber goes, yeah, then we've got one on the line here so far. The important thing is we finally got a difference. The first one of 2023. Yeah. Wow. Let's see if we can build on that. So let's go with the uh, the men, <laughs> the U.S. title elimination chamber match. We got yeah. Austin Theory, Seth freaking Rollins. I, I know you love that. Um, uh, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. Uh, I think Austin Theory will retain his title. That's it? I just I just don't think that any of those guys... Seth Rollins doesn't need the U.S. title. He's going to end up having a match with Logan Paul at WrestleMania. You can tell that's where that thing's going. Hey, Bronson Reed, they're not going to put the U.S. title on just yet. He's he's still relatively new on the show. He's got a lot of momentum, and he's doing really good, but he ain't quite there yet. You know, Johnny Gargano, nobody wants to see as the U.S. champion right now. Uh, Montez Ford wouldn't be bad, but I still don't think he's quite ready for a singles title, but this is a good chance for him to show what he can do in a, you know, as, just on his own in this scenario. Damian Priest would be the only one that I would consider being a possibility. Um, But uh, I don't think that they're, I just don't think they're ready to take it. I think it will probably come down to Damian Priest and uh, Austin Theory in the end of the match. But uh, I think Theory will, will squeak his way out of this one. Well, we got another one different, my friend. All right, all right. I think I see. I think Theory loses it because I think they're going to set up something with him and Cena at WrestleMania, and they don't need a title on the line for that. Okay. So I eliminated him. I eliminated Seth for the same reason you did. He doesn't need it. He's got his own feud going with with Logan. Um, I eliminated Bronson Reed for the same reason you did. So that left me with Damian Priest, uh, Johnny Gargano, and uh, Montez Ford. Um, Montez, I thought the same as you. He's just not quite ready for it. Although he was, he, I came close to picking him. Um, then I went to Damian Priest, and I thought maybe him. But then I eliminated him, and so now it was down to Damian. To uh, I'm sorry, to uh, Montez Ford and uh, Gargano. I'm going with a Gargano. Man, man. And I think he might change his name to John G. Gargano. Oh God. Or just John G. Eliminate the Argano. And just John G. I'll oh, claim it. Oh, you would love that. You would love that. Oh my God. Like the Shed Aquarium. Love my Shed me. Aquarium. Okay. Well, we got two different. <laughs> and now we go to the women's. And this is for a shot at Bianca Belair's title, the women's elimination chamber match. We got Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Asuka, Carmella. I think she was the latest one added. And yeah. uh, and Natalia, everybody's favorite whipping girl. <laughs> no, no double meaning intended. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know, Carmela. I just don't. I don't know why they keep bringing her back. <laughs> I mean, what is? 
She's, There's so she, many better possibilities, unless they just want to, you know. She has no, me. she has no charisma, you know. Right. You know, she's just a very plastic, you know. I mean, you know, she's just a Barbie doll looking, you know, chick, which would be fine if she was that and like a good wrestler, you know. <laughs> like then, then great, you know. But um, so Maybe this she is takes the pin this is this is a bit of a this is a bit of a tough one for me because i've kind of got it down to two um, the same two i have so uh i i think though if i you know i have to of course only pick one i am going to go with uh raquel rodriguez and uh my backup would have been oscar I would have I would have thought Oscar would be a possibility, but I do think Raquel Rodriguez is is they're going to give her the the shot. I think she can do it and have a good match. And it's and it's something we haven't seen. We've seen Oscar go at it with uh, Bianca Belair before. Oscar's got a good push right now, but I don't think it's like mania push. So, well, that's interesting because I I um, I go completely opposite of you. Okay. I went. Those are my last two picks, Rodriguez and Asuka. Um, I didn't think. I don't think Raquel is ready for a big main event, or I don't know if it's going to be a main event, but a big event at WrestleMania. And you know, Asuka has been the new evil. Asuka has been getting a big push. I mm. think. Uh, I think they can do another Bianca Belair match versus her. I think she'll win it. Then Asuka takes the title at WrestleMania. Bianca's held it long enough. Um, it, yeah. Need, yeah. No. Need, it's. It's. It's time. But I mean, I still don't. I still don't put it past them putting the title on Raquel Rodriguez. So well, she was my second choice. I mean, you know, Nikki Cross. I don't know what they're doing with her. Um, you know, Natalia. We all love Natalia. At least we love the like ten year version of ten year past version of her, where she was, you know, less. You know, uh, again, I you know. It, you know, I feel almost the same with her as I do with Carmella. It's just like every time they bring her back, it's it's always the same thing. There's just it's just very middle of the road. She's just you know, like as a wrestler, as a, well as a as a character, I should say, as a wrestler, she's phenomenal, which is the biggest shame of the whole thing. Um, she's she's taught most of that roster of women how to wrestle. I mean, you know, so who would you uh, compare it to as a, on, on the man side, past or present? Um, man, you know, uh, and she's been there forever. She's she's good, and she passes on a couple on of and, titles. And she, yeah, but I mean, that's that's well, I mean, almost, I guess, like you could say, maybe Dolph Ziggler, you know. I mean, okay. like, good one. I mean, she's had the women's championship before, but like, what, once, twice, something like that. Same with him. He's had the United States championship. I think he was the Intercontinental at some point. Maybe he's had the tag champ, but I mean, she's had all of those titles too, but he still just is a character that is yeah. just like, you know never not quite main event like he's upper he's, middle card he's still doing the same thing every time he comes out his character hasn't evolved at all he has no major rivalry with anybody you know i mean it's not like it's always been Dolph versus so and so i mean right he's you name one of, big rivalry Dolph has had Could you name one big rivalry natalia's had yeah so it's yeah they're kind of in the same boat um i'll give but, you that one yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to stick to Raquel. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I agree a match with Asuka, you know, would be a big deal. Um, if nothing else, Raquel will, I think it'll come down to those two. And if, if Raquel doesn't win, then they'll definitely make a point of giving her a good showing to, you know, build her up and, and everything. So, but I'll roll the dice. I'll go with, I'll go with Raquel. Well, here's a question then. What if, going back to your thought on the men's, what if, could there possibly be Raquel and and um, uh, Asuka winning this and making it a three-way? Well, how are, they uh, how are they both going to win it? I don't know. <laughs> there's there's ways they can do it. come on. How how are two like a double tap or something like that? Like they both that? tap at the, like they both tap at the same time or something or yeah. I mean, how did or two referees get involved? One gets knocked out or there's a controversial pin or something like yeah. that. 
It, I mean, I don't know. That's possible. It but. would have to happen then, not like Monday night when they, you know, make the announcement that this, you know, we're clarifying it. It would have to happen there. But yeah. I don't well, know. Because no, we're not betting on that, so it doesn't matter. But um, no, I don't know. I just thought that somehow something, because I don't know, that this card look. I mean, although it looks exciting, like something <laughs> funky has got to happen. Yeah. It, it, like, it looks too clean, even though we're disagreeing on the winners. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I just, like, I don't see a big heel turn anywhere. I don't see a big face turn. Right. So it just seems like something big. Has I, to I just feel like they're trying to just put a few pieces into place, you know, before Mania, and then everything will be set in motion and, you know, more or less decided as far as what the matches are and but Stuff still a good card. I mean, I'm not disappointed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the. I'm looking forward to the, the to the show for sure. So, and I will I will avoid social media because I'm going to be out Saturday night. Uh, I'm going to be in Rockford, so I got to avoid social media so I can watch this when I get back home. All right, so don't we'll don't text me your your bragging rights if you're winning. <laughs> All right, I'll hold back this time. Well, no, did you do it last time? I don't know. No, uh, but we uh, we went into the Royal Rumble both saying that it seemed very predictable, and we both got uh, all of our uh, our predictions correct. And, and we were Mister, we were Kurt Hennings, full full agreement. So there was no movement on the uh, the meter. But uh, we'll, will you be having now this this time? We've got uh, we've got a Green. few on the line. So will you be having your usual parte at the Casa? Uh, I am. I am having some people over uh, for the elimination chamber. Uh, I might make some chili or something like that. So, regular chili or, or the better chili? I'll be making the better chili with beef. Oh, you reeled me in on that one. Yes, it'll Jerk. be it'll be real beef, not that not, not ground turkey. Since all uh, right. No one, no one here has any like real dietary restrictions. Like, stop saying does. I have dietary restrictions. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Any other random thoughts on the elimination chamber? Um, you know, uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, it's it's funny. I just I I remember the first time that they had the elimination chamber, and when it was introduced, it was introduced as being from the from the twisted mind of Eric Bischoff that this was his baby, but they don't say that anymore. Well, and, he's gone. well, yeah, I know I get it, but I, I, I don't know the true origin of if he really did have a say in, in that match being made or not, you know, or if they were just using that as part of the storyline saying that, you know, this was, you know, just to give him some cred. Because, you know, the, you know uh, what was it? Pat Patterson, I think, was the one who came up with the Royal Rumble concept. And, and Vinny did not like it. Yeah. He said it would never work. And the first one they attempted was kind of a joke. or, or had, It was filled with errors, I guess. Well, and they, it was their, they worked the kinks out of it. Yeah. Money in the Bank, came. that was from Chris Jericho, came up with that one. Never wanted like either. It. Never wanted. Was in a bunch of them, but he never wanted so uh so yeah i mean it's not impossible that eric bischoff could have came up with the chamber i mean although it's easy to come up with something like that if you're not going to be the one wrestling in it so, <laughs> we I mean, they've, come up with that. they've really they've really like softened the thing up. i mean not that it's not still i mean it's still steel chains and stuff like that on the for the walls so i mean there's no getting around that but i mean now they've like padded the floors and stuff like that but you watch those first few elimination chamber Ooh. matches and it is i mean i can't even imagine taking those falls onto those uh, graded floors that they had yeah. and you, you got to remember this is like you know triple h is like 265 pounds <laughs> you know i mean like you come slamming down just with gravity into that RVD jumped off one of the pods and like broke his trachea, broke Triple H's trachea or something like that. I can't even. That just I can't even imagine. Um, yeah, the, the, it, yeah that, that whole throat area. I don't, you don't mess the, with that. The first, the very first one, I remember like the interviews with the guys. I mean, they were dead serious. They were like, that was like one of the most brutal things I ever went through. And like Booker T was like, I'm not doing it again. I think he only. <laughs> I think he did. I think he only did one. 
I'm almost certain he did the first one and was like, I'm not doing that again. You know, <laughs> like that was, that was crazy. You know? Yeah. And Lord knows he's been through enough. Um, it's not like he took an easy route in wrestling. <laughs> he's been through yeah. a bunch of different battles and for him to bail out of that one. I've always loved the, uh, the bulletproof chambers. They always make a point of talking about the, the Lex. Somebody comes in with a gun. Glass. Yeah. Like, like this had to be instituted at some point because there was an incident, you know, the elimination the, the the elimination chamber brings out all the all the guys with the guns and stuff they can't help but take shots at them while they're in the cages so <laughs> and <laughs> and really if you were trying to protect yourself from bullets you would think it would be completely all the way around because the bars are just or the chains behind them you can get right through that well now you're uh, trying to inject logic into wrestling and then on top of it, bulletproof as they may be, they're apparently not people proof because people get, <laughs> yes. through, people get thrown through the damn things all the time. They're not secu- they're not very secure. So I no. mean it wouldn't I wouldn't feel very comfortable with someone just taking a shot at the bulletproof glass there. So anyway, those are those are my final thoughts on the elimination chain. So there's no truth to rumor that Eric St. Vaughn will be in one of the uh, pods. Uh buddy, I can neither confirm nor deny anything so all right because this would be the perfect opportunity eric eric st vaughn and erica st vaughn and in, in, in opposite um and, and what if they both won their respective chambers too well i would think they would so you know yeah. it would be it would be st vaughn a mania at uh, wrestlemania this year so it would be and on, on that happy cheery note <laughs> any final last words which is redundant too uh final last words yeah enjoy the show and uh you know go me so you yeah to beat you man it's not about beating each other it's about uh, entertaining the the viewers well i think that would be very entertaining for the viewers so all right well on that rally to go rally to go anyway everyone enjoy enjoy uh (laughs) wwe elimination chamber don't listen to tommy um and check back to see which one of us me one. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs>